this video is going to be about desensitizing your dog to anything in the grooming center and working with a dog that has had a traumatic experience in the grooming center or at a vet. Same can be applied for things like if your dog does not like being hair dried, have their nails clipped, clipping their coat, dripping their face, being washed, getting in the bath and the list goes on. So first I'm going to give you a list of things that you need to do and remember when working with your dog from home. Number one is a lead because as you already probably know for example if you get your nail clippers out or the brush your dog runs away and you've already got off to a bad start. Think of this as a training session. Don't teach your dog that they are able to run away from this situation. Then you want some kind of high value reward for your dog, whether it be toys, fast play, freedom. If your dog isn't taking a reward that would normally be of value to them, you're already going too fast. This is to be done at a pace that suits your dog, not you. Having a daily training routine with your dog and daily routine in general. Dogs work well with routine, same way as children do and adults. Include any items that they are fearful of into their daily routine. For example, they don't like the nail clippers, the brush, make it seen every single day. You don't even have to touch them with it yet. It should just be around when they're eating their dinner. Keep it laying around the house. Pick it up when you pick the lead up to go for a walk. Teach your dog solid commands, such as sit and down. And build up the duration of them doing this. I have a number of working dogs that come to me who would be completely scatty if I just got on with grooming them without being able to tell them exactly what I want them to do. I want them to sit in the bath. The slower you can go, the better the results. If your dog doesn't like their paws touch, okay, break it up as small as you possibly can and start rewarding them for what they will already allow. As silly as this sounds, you've got to do it slowly and break it up as much as you can. So for example, touching their shoulder, okay, they allow that. Rub their shoulder, give them a treat. You're showing them that what you're doing to them means that they're going to get a reward. Muzzle training. A lot of people will go, oh, I don't want to put a muzzle on my dog. Okay, your dog probably doesn't like wearing a muzzle at the moment. But would you rather your dog be okay with wearing a muzzle or when they go to the vets or the groomers and they start acting out that a groomer just shoves one on their face and that now becomes another unpleasant experience for them? It's your responsibility to desensitise your dog to this. Also, if your dog can act aggressive, nippy, what you don't want to start happening is, is when your dog acts out in this way, you move away and you show them that this behaviour gets you to stop what you're doing as it can actually make their behaviour a lot worse. If you take away the chance for them to bite you, you're not only keeping you, your groomer, your vet safe, you're showing them that this behaviour isn't getting them what they want. And remember, you're not doing nothing bad to your dog, you're here to help them, you're doing this for their benefit, despite how much they may dislike it at the moment. Following on from that, I want you to take into account that your dog may be okay with you. But if you have plans to send them to a vet or a groomer, you may also want to include small short visits to these places to build up their association while wearing a muzzle because you want to safeguard your dog and the people around them. It takes only one allegation or a report of your dog being aggressive for them to be assessed as an aggressive dog. And if you know full well that when a complete stranger comes around to do a temperament test on your dog, that they will fail, the chances are that something as drastic as being put to sleep could happen. As drastic as this sounds, the types of dogs I work with, if approached in the wrong way because they're still in the process of being rehabilitated from bad experiences, could bite that piece of plastic could have saved their life. So it's important that you also understand the seriousness of this to keep you, your dog and other people around them safe. Muzzle train any dog. Eventually they may not need it, but in the beginning stages, 100%. It is definitely worth it. Next, you must start with a clear head. Take your emotions out of it. If you're having a bad day, this may affect your dog. Because your head is elsewhere worrying about other things, you need to be completely invested in what you are doing with your dog at that time. And if when approaching the task of desensitising your dog to something, you are nervous, you feel sorry for them because of what they've been through, and you're like, oh, it's okay. Did you notice my tone of voice changed from confident? Your dog will notice that change and think, oh, there's something wrong. They don't know what's wrong. They don't know that you feel sorry for them. It's in our nature to speak softly and kindly and be gentle as humans towards something that is scared or nervous. But you need to forget about all of that. Your dog takes your confidence. If you are calm, assertive and confident with your dog, they will have confidence and trust in you. This may take work to build up trust. 
and also to have a lot of patience lots and lots and lots of patience because this could take a week it could take months it could take a year remember we're going at a pace that suits your dog not yourself I want to give you an example of what may be a traumatic experience to some dogs and some others may take it completely in their stride the dog moves backwards quickly and bashes into my bath which makes a loud noise some dogs would shake that off and not even notice it as they're probably quite clumsy anyway and not faced by the slightest whereas others may now find that bath so scary and never want to go near it ever again every dog is different 